Hey, what's up guys? Jason Julius here, and here's an interesting fact about the vibrator. Now, the vibrator was invented in the late 1800s and was used in the late 1800s and early 1900s by doctors to cure what they called female hysteria. Now, looking back, female hysteria was actually just built up sexual tension in women. However, men would actually bring their woman to the doctors thinking that there was something wrong with her and the doctor would actually stimulate her clitoris until she had an orgasm. And after that release of the orgasm, he'd send her home and she'd be more relaxed and the female hysteria would then be over with. And that would be considered a cure for female hysteria. They never even thought that she was having an orgasm. Now these doctors, you know, they actually had a lot of women coming in to see them. So they actually uh, used the vibrator so that they didn't, uh, tire out their hands and they could actually use the vibrator to actually stimulate these women to orgasm. And we've come a long way in understanding female orgasms since then and that really in hindsight isn't that long ago. And there's still so much we just don't understand about female orgasms or it seems like is not really in mainstream culture anyway. So uh, in this video, I wanna help you understand how to touch her and give her a better orgasm than her vibrator. All right, so let me start out by saying that I have nothing against a vibrator. In fact, I think that all women should own a vibrator and really explore their body and understand what they like and you know how to touch themselves and what is pleasurable to them. Self-exploration is one of the best ways to really understand your body and your mind and, and, and all your orgasmic potential. And I think men can actually you know, use a, a vibrator to help their woman orgasm as well. And there's nothing, uh, nothing wrong with a vibrator. Uh, it's absolutely healthy. Masturbation, very, very healthy. I'm not saying anything uh, in any way bad about against the vibrator. I think it's awesome. Uh, what I do want to talk about in this video is I want to, I want to uh, talk about ways that you can actually give her better orgasms than her vibrator, right? So, you know, it's always amazing if if you can actually touch your partner in better ways than they've ever even experienced with pleasuring themselves because you know if you ever if you're a guy and you ever meet a woman who you know can touch you in a better way than you've ever touched yourself you're kind of like wow I've 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 lived with this for like 38 years and I've never felt that I've never touched it that way it's just amazing when your partner can touch you and give you an experience that you know they where they almost seemingly know your body better than you do. They know your mind better than you do. And I think that that's what we're after here is to is to, to understand our partner and understand how to give them an amazing, amazing experience. So uh, most women typically use a vibrator to stimulate their clitoris. And that's amazing. You know, there's over 8,000 nerve endings in a woman's uh, little clitoris. That's, that's as many nerve endings in a man's entire penis shrunken down into her little clitoris. And that's so incredible that that is a great way to stimulate your woman to orgasm. Uh, it's how most women masturbate with a vibrator because that intense vibrating sensation on her clitoris feels so incredible and feels so amazing that uh, it, it can just almost overwhelm her to orgasm and help her even get out of her head because the, in, the intensity of the, the uh, stimulation. And that's awesome. I think that's really incredible. However, in uh, the scope of, of how we can even give her better orgasms, uh, we need to understand that there's two different types of orgasms a woman can have, a clitoral orgasm and a vaginal orgasm, right? And so, you know, most women, like I said, stimulate their clitoris with the, the vibrator. Some, uh, you know, stimulate the inside of their vagina, don't get me wrong. But typically, most women are used to a clitoral orgasm. If we stimulate the inside of her vagina, we can stimulate either her G spot or her A spot, and we can potentially give her an orgasm that she's never experienced before because the majority of women still sadly have never experienced a vaginal orgasm. A vaginal orgasm comes from stimulation to the inside of her vagina, like I said, to the G spot or the A spot. And the difference between the two can be the, the clitoral orgasms are a little bit more of a localized type of orgasm. Nothing wrong with that, amazing, amazing orgasm. But the vaginal orgasms are gonna be more of a full body release type of orgasm and have the potential, 
to even have an ejaculatory response, a full body ejaculatory orgasm where her body is shaking out of control. And it's just an absolutely uh, amazing experience where she might even be shaking for like 30 seconds to two minutes and ejaculating and feeling just this incredible rush and really experience it all over her body. And that could be a more intense type of orgasm than what she might get from uh, clitoral stimulation, which she might be used to when she's masturbating. So that's why we need to understand how to touch her G spot and her A spot. And I've talked about that a bit on this channel. And uh, the other thing that I wanna talk about is in order to be that much better than what her vibrator could, could do for her is to be able to stimulate her mind. You know, so much of getting a woman to orgasm is her mental state. Actually, the majority of it is her mental state. And I think that's why so many people don't understand female orgasms is that the mind actually needs to be completely quiet. You know, so we have this thinking part of our mind, the prefrontal cortex, and that part of our mind or, or her mind needs to really quiet down. For us guys, we have the luxury that we get there very easily. And for women, a lot of times they have a hard time letting go and really getting to that quiet mental state. And a lot of times women don't realize that they can have these types of vaginal orgasms because they'll self-sabotage and think too much. Or even if a woman holds the belief that she can't orgasm, she literally can't because whatever we hold true in our mind, our brain will do whatever it takes to actually keep that truth and she'll self-sabotage. But what we can do as her partner is actually help her get out of her own way and help her quiet down that part of her mind by just interrupting her pattern, interrupting you know, her state so that she gets to that state of presence, that state of calm to where an orgasm just happens. And the amazing thing is if you understand how to do that for her, then you can actually just make an orgasm happen and she'll be like, oh my God, what did you do? You know, I can't believe this. Uh, you, you can make me orgasm so easily. You know, not even my vibrator can do this. And I think that's because we have the opportunity to engage her mind and really, you know, separate ourselves from any of her other partners and just, and, and just know that her mind is such an important piece to this so that you know she can relax and just have the best orgasmic experience of her life so it's not about the you know contending with a vibrator but it's just understanding that we have an opportunity if we really look at it to be able to touch her in a way that you know no other man has probably even touched her or that it's hard to even get from intercourse and so if you actually give her that orgasm before sex begins the amazing thing is is that then she'll be hyper orgasmic because her mind will already be where it's already difficult to get to and once it's there it stays there and so she'll be way more orgasmic mentally but she'll also be more orgasmic physically because she'll be way more sensitive so if we take the time to give her that orgasm before sex even begins well then she's gonna have a way easier time having an orgasm during sex, which most women report that they really struggle being able to orgasm during intercourse. So if we take that time and do that, it gets easier and easier every time. And then what I like to, to tell the guys is like, you know, you don't really have to do that every single time. You just need to take the time in the beginning of that. And um, it, it's great if you always, you know, stimulate her and take the time with her. But the, but the, the great thing is is that it just really becomes simpler and easier because she makes that association to you she understands how to get present she really gets captivated by all the things that you're continuing to do for her mind and that is ahead of time and during the actual you know time that you're with her uh, as well as like you know it takes shorter and shorter amounts of time of stimulating her and she'll just be hyper orgasmic and craving you and she can't wait to have that release with you which is so fulfilling to to have your partner really craving you. I know I love to have uh, a partner that I feel that same way towards. So that is an incredible, uh, incredible experience. And uh, one other thing that I will say is one of the ways that we can actually mimic the sensation that a woman feels uh, from a vibrator is to give her amazing, amazing oral sex. And I've already covered that in one of my other YouTube videos. So I will uh, put a card and link to that in this video. Uh, if you have not seen that already, check that out for awesome oral sex techniques that could actually mimic her vibrator. 
And if you want to learn how to make your woman squirt, visit my blog at jasonjulius.com forward slash squirt, where I have a purely educational video that I hope helps you out. And I hope that that allows you to give your partner some of the best orgasms of her life. And if you like this video, I hope that you subscribe uh, with the link below because I have so much more cool content coming up and I hope to see you in the next video.